So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing loops in C++. In the previous video, we have talked about while loop, right? Basic syntax of while loop, why we use like while loop, what is the difference between while loop and uh, for loop and uh, working of while loop with the help of flowchart, with the help of three or four programs. We have discussed basic things about while loop. But next thing is, this would be second part of that videos. We will discuss something more about while loop. Like in how many ways you can write down some while loop, what type of tricky things we can do with while loop, right? And if that kind of questions you will get, then what output you will get, right? It's not like that only in the traditional way you can write down while loop. You can also do something, some different type of things with this loop, right? So those things we will be discussing in this video with the help of three or four programs, you can say practically also I'll show you what output you will get and why you are getting that output, proper working of that program, right? So now before that, I just want to tell you one thing. If you guys are preparing for GATE and PSUs 2024 and 2025, then an academy is going to start new batches from 21st of December. The top educator will be covering all the subjects of CS and IT. Plus some extra classes like uh, special classes like preparation, strategy, tips and tricks, practice questions like a doubt, uh, you know, solving sessions also. And these batches will be both Hindi and in both Hindi and English language. And if you take an academy's iconic or plus subscription for GATE and ESC, then you can save up to 52%. As you will also get some extra months, as you can see on my screen, if you uh, get subscription of 12 months, then you will get extra three months on 18 months plus three months like this. And the price detail also you can see plus you can use my code JKL10 to get extra 10% discount. Next thing if you are preparing for railways then they are also going to start new batch from 18th of December. So in this batch for IRMS 2023 the top educators of UPSC and GATE will be covering all the subjects plus some special classes plus uh, doubt solving session will also be conducted. And they are also offering a combo offer for GATE and ESC and UPSC. In that you can save up to 39% as you can see on my screen but it is for limited period of time and an academy is also conducting all India mock test for GATE 2023. Next mock test is on 18th of December and in this you will also get all India rank you can uh, see where you are standing among other competitors and you will also get your analysis report with video solutions as well. So you can enroll for this test free you don't need to pay anything you can, use, you can use my code jkl10 to enroll so all the relevant links and details i'll put in the description box of this video and for the paid subscription you can use my code jkl10 to get extra 10 percent discount now let's see some more about why loop let me write down one question and you tell me the answer to that question this is the question i'm not writing the complete program see here i'm taking one variable i okay in this i we have one now in while I am writing a condition, termination condition, i equal to 1, okay. Now in th this case I am printing i and just i plus plus, that's it. Or after this you can write down something like this out of loop. So let's pause the video and think what output you will get here. So I guess you are done with the solution. Now see, i is 1, now i is equal to 1. This equal to is what? Assignment operator. Right means the right hand side whatever is there in right hand side that would be assigned to left hand side. So in I we are assigning 1. Okay now in I we have assigned again 1. Now see out I. So 1 would be print, printed on the screen and I plus plus. Now I becomes 2. Right. Now again check the condition I is equal to 1. It is just assignment. No condition is given. So again in I we are assigning 1. So in again I 1 would be assigned. Okay, now condition is true. Now it's not condition, it's just assignment. And one is what? One means true. Only zero means false. Other than zero is true. Again, one would be printed. I plus plus means not in next line, same line. We are not writing any slash in, right? I plus plus. Now I becomes again two. Again, I is equal to one. Again, one. And this would be an infinite loop. So one, one, one would be printed something like this. Now, if you want to check equality condition, then we have to put double equal to one. This is very important. Sometimes, you know, they put some, some you know, simply this, you know, this, this kind of thing. And you think that it is, it is, you are going to check the equality condition and your answer would be wrong. 
equality condition is this one double equal to this is what to check equality now at first i is 1 in this case what output you will get i equal to equal to 1 the condition true yes condition is true i is equal to 1 so 1 will be printed now i plus plus i becomes 2 again check the condition i is equal to is equal to 1 is this condition true this time no because i is 2 so now out of this loop and what will be printed out of loop i hope you got the difference between these let me just give you two more questions okay so this is the question i am just asking value of i then in while i am writing just i okay and just printing i and i plus plus so what output you will get now first of all it will ask enter i suppose i am entering i value 10 so in i now we have 10 while i so while 10 i means 10 to so 10 means true enter into the loop 10 would be printed now i plus plus this becomes 11 again check the condition while 11 11 is also true because 0 is only false so now 11 would be printed then i plus plus means 12 then while condition while here we have now 12 so that is also true right so now 12 would be printed something like this maybe you are thinking it would be an infinite loop just think pause the video and think it would be an infinite loop or not if you have watched my videos of for and while loop of c programming then you got the answer right so now see it would not be an infinite loop why so because see we have one circle something like this i am assuming uh, that int will take four bytes right on 64 bit machine right now the range of int is this one so this would be the range okay according to four bytes of integer minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight two plus two one four seven four eight three six four seven right so how it will work see we have this and this is what signed int so we have circle for signed int so here we have zero then one then two something like this and at one point of time we reach to this one two one four seven four eight three six four seven right and on left hand side minus one minus two minus three anticlockwise like this and finally we reach to here minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight and here we have this point of time uh, sorry at this place we have minus two one four seven four eight three six four seven and here we have like 46 something like this right so this according to this it would be printed it would not be an infinite loop so see i is 10 so 10 11 12 something like this it would be printed at, at some point of time it will reach to this point right now it will not print 47 48 no after that it will reach to this one plus 21474836488 is equal to minus 21474836488 right then this should be printed then minus this should be printed then like this then minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and at first at one time it will reach to 0 now once i value reach to 0 then it would become false and then out of loop so it would not be an infinite loop in this way it is going to print i hope you got the working of this thing i'll show you on my laptop also with the help of program right like this if here you are entering value of i i suppose i'm entering this is for your assignment if i enter minus y then what output you will get here you need to tell me in comment section right now see one more thing if i modify this thing something like this rather than i i am writing one in this case what output you will get suppose the video and think now let me just show you practical of these programs okay so this is one program let me just zoom this out see we are taking variable i we are asking from user enter i and then in while i am putting just i and we are just printing i i plus plus and then out of loop right now let me just run this and show you what output you will get here 
see if i enter i value if i enter like minus 3 you will get minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 because it will it will reach to then 0 and then it will stop right but suppose again i'm going to run and at this point of time i am entering value suppose 3 not minus 3 it's 3 let me just run this maybe now you are thinking it would be an infinite loop because 3 then up to that range 3 4 5 then 2 1 4 7 4 8 3 6 4 7 then minus and then once it, it will reach to 0 then it is going to stop the complete circle right so definitely you will think it would be an infinite loop but no it would not be an infinite loop okay now if i put here those previous one i is equal to one okay now let's run this and we are entering it would ask enter i and i am entering one fine let's run this see it would be an infinite loop it is not going to stop as you can show because this is not equality this is assignment operator right and if i again enter this and at this point of time i enter like what okay i am entering i 4 maybe you are thinking i is 4 so it is the condition is not true so it will not run but no this time also it would be an infinite loop printing 1111 right okay now if i put i is equal to is equal to 1 now that is fine let's run this and see enter i i is 2 so condition is not true because 2 is not equal to 1 so it would only print out of loop that's it again if you run this and you will enter i is equal to 1 it will print 1 and out of loop because this time condition is true so it will enter uh, into this while loop it will print i i plus plus and then out of loop right now at this point of time rather than that uh, i in this while loop i am just putting one okay now at this point of time it will not stop okay let me just run this sorry enter i is equal to two and first of all we have to save this because after editing i haven't saved this now let me just run this any value you can enter like i am entering i value if you enter zero then also see because zero but in while we are having only one so condition is true still it will print i value then i plus plus and continue it will be continue 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 that circle would be first positive then negative then positive negative positive negative all values so these things you need to take care right now you can try if you put semicolon here then what output you will get this is for your assignment so i hope you got these things about while loop now you can also try because i cannot tell you everything on you know in this whiteboard in one video otherwise video would be very lengthy you can try out different different things like what experiment you can do this you can do with this while loop like if i put semicolon here then what output you will get these kind of things you can try and that is how you can try try to solve you know problems on every like if you are going through the section of loops solve problem on loops just theory part and then start solving problem dry run those first then on your laptop run those problems right so in that way if more and more problem you will solve then you will get each and every like every single detail about that concept if one or two problem you will solve on that concept you will just get the overview about that concept right so if you want to deep down into that concept you have to solve different different type of problems then also you know at that time only you will face some difficulties and you will try to solve those problems like how you are getting that kind of output and all right so try out different different things with these concepts Right now in the next video we will see do I loop. So now we will see in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.